Hello everybody, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my roster update for week 30 of 2023 on the alt account, the Lysol Redux. Let's get started. So for this project, I have put together this spreadsheet here. I break down my farms into three tiers, five characters per tier, uh, trying to work on one goal per week and getting a second character to G12, G13 in the same week. Uh, as you can see, I got a little bit more than my usual 15 characters in here. Uh, I've got Quill and IG-11 for the Super Scoundrels team and Cat. And then I also had Cad Bane and Bando for my executor fleet. Uh, I'm making some progress, but it's slow. And it's slow because of one problem. Bronzium wiring. Please, if you know a good way to get more bronzium wirings please comment in the comment section and let me know because i i'm pulling in about 150 to 100 a week and it's just not enough i need more and i really don't know how to do any better so uh i pre-recorded my gearing so let's take a look at it uh, I started by taking the Thai Reaper up. I got some Thai Reaper shards just because I was farming Shore Trooper. Uh, I uh, I just add some skills to it. Um, I'm not going to use the Thai Reaper for anything for the time being, but I'm trying to juice my GP a little bit. It'll help in TB. And, and just overall, having more GP now is better than having less. Uh, then I go... Let's see... Go to characters but i mean to go to squads and we go down here and start starring up some characters i finally got plo Koon up to seven stars wasn't really working on him this is just passively getting shards uh, i have been farming cal Kestis. i get him up to four stars i actually already got the shards to get him to five as of the recording of this video uh, I take Shore Trooper up to 7, and that's all of my Imperial Troopers are now 7 stars. Uh, then we go and take a look at what we've got here. I take Greedo up to G13. And then I think what I wind up doing is I'm actually able to take... Yeah, here we go. Orisang up to Relic 6 here, which is another Jabba journey requirement done. Very happy about that. I have basically just, I think I have 14, 13 relic levels to go. I've got six between Gamguard and Mob Enforcer. I've got five on Greedo and then two on C-3PO. So that's uh, 13 in total. So I look at this bronzium wiring, don't have enough. I just start burning whatever I can here. I try not to get below like 20-ish pieces of any of these. I think the 31 was enough to get her up to six. It was in fact, uh, then I believe I go back and take Greedo up to Relic 1. Uh, yeah. I take Greedo over any of the other ones because I, I actually use Greedo in the crate raid a little bit. Uh, he's he's kind of useful on like a mishmash team at 300 uh, at the like base difficulty level. I actually, he basically drove 200k damage for me this morning when I was doing my uh, crate raid. I'm still locked out of Quill because of those stupid... Uh, G13 finishers, but I've got all of the other pieces. I'm just waiting on, I mean, I've got this done now at this point, but I'm waiting on those, whatever those things are called. I don't even remember the, the G12, G13 finishers, whatever they're called. Uh, ooh, I do do something interesting here. So I have some leftover Kairos. So I take my seventh sister up to level 85 i upgrade her to g12 uh 
I'm going to be working on GI as soon as I finish Java. So I need, I'm kind of staging them in a spot where they're usable. Although I don't have any of the other ones yet, but maybe next week I'll be able to get a second one up to like G10 or something. And then in five or six weeks, I'll be able to have at least G12 Inquisitors while I'm working on farming Java. Okay, so that was it for the gearing for the day. We'll go back to here. So tracking my progress, I went from 5.627 million to 5.655 million. Uh, Zeta stayed at 103. Omicron stayed at 10. G13s, I went from 57 to 58. G12s stayed at 16, and G11s stayed at 17. So again, I'll be working on Queel. Really, there's nothing to look at here except for these little uh, power cell injectors. I just don't get these fast enough. I have a ton of the other two. These particular ones, I just never get. Uh, I might have to buy some with crystals or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I, I gotta find a way to get these. Maybe I'll have to buy them with, or spend energy on them. I, I'm not really sure how I want to approach it. Getting Quill up to relics is not uh, super important to me, but I want that team at relic three at least because it's going to do some proving grounds work for me. So, Hopefully, I can push through this power cell injector crunch and the bronzium wiring crunch and have them ready for the next proving grounds, which is going to be in two and a half weeks, three weeks, give or take. So, my plan for next week dark side, light side, we got BTL bomber. I have less than 40 shards of that thing to go. Oof, I am ready to be done with it. Uh, I'm working on Iden. I got less than 10 shards of her to go. Raise Malayan Falcon, long ways to go, but I'm kind of slow rolling the uh, Radis requirements. I just want to start working on things that I don't already have uh, so that I'm, when I do get around to it, I'm in a position to just do it. So Radis is my next like C, D tier project that I'm working on. And then Kairos and Salvage. Uh, Cantina says signal data, but I've actually kind of abandoned signal data for right now. I have like 400 of each banked up and I have not been, I haven't been getting bronzium wiring fast enough to use the signal data that I have. So I've been farming Cal and I should have Cal at seven stars in like a week. And then I'm going to farm Hondo. And then once Hondo and Cal are done, I will be working on signal data again. Unless I run out of signal data, Hondo can wait. So, but I, I'll finish Cal before I run out of signal data. In fleets, I'm working on Marin, resistance ships, just the two resistance X-Wings. I've got like 50 shards left on Lando's Millennium Falcon, but I can wait on that. I'd rather get those other two ships closer and get Marin done before I start working on Lando's Millennium Falcon. Uh, I'm working on med packs and security scanners. And next week, my goal is to have a J13 Quill, a Relic 6 Greedo, and maybe add some Relic levels to Mob Enforcer or Gam Guard. If I can get Greedo up to R6 and then Gam Guard or Mob Enforcer up to R1 or R2. I will be down to, let's see, 13 minus five is eight minus one. I'll be down to seven relic levels till I can work on Java. So I'm, I'm thinking about about three weeks away from starting to farm the Java tickets, which I'm very excited about. Anyway, that's it for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and peace out. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, subscribe, comment in the comment section down below, and you can join me on Twitch or Discord. Both have links in the description. I hope to see you guys there.